All right, so VP won the Summit 8, so this is a minor tournament. Um, the way that Valve is doing it this year is that there are major and minor tournaments. So minors award less points than majors, and basically they do qualifying points per player to determine who will be going to the international next year. So VP played a really dominant game all week, and and it was so 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 entertaining to watch them when they are on top of their game they just usually walk all over their opponents and their carry player ramses he's like 15 or 16 years old and he is so good and it is incredible watching him play and now i'm left with the aftermath of my evening it feels kind of sad that the event is over because it was so fun to watch and it gave me something to really look forward to but now i kind of have to like i don't know make do until the next tournament i don't think that vp are attending anything else for the end of this year and i think the next major is mid-january so there might be a minor here or there but nothing big until january i actually canceled my disaster artist showing this morning I booked tickets um, in the middle of the week for this and I completely forgot that the summit was on so I refunded my tickets. Um, it is a movie that I did want to watch but now I feel a little lazy about it. I also booked tickets for Call Me By Your Name this week, um, weekday evening, so Thursday maybe. But that one I am really looking forward to watching. and. Maybe that'll be the last movie I watched this year, in theaters at least, unless I find the time to go watch Disaster Artist, but yeah, um, I had so much fun watching this event, and now we are on to another full week. making some tea before I start my movie. Um, Brad's status is what I'm planning on watching with Ben Stiller. And while I was unpacking the other day, I found this. This is actually one of my favorite pictures of my young self. And I actually love that it is in a horse frame because I really, really loved horses before. I mean, I still do. I just don't get any opportunities to be around them. But yeah, I was a uh, pretty cute, if I'd like to say so myself. I came across a movie I was rather unaware of today called Brad's Status, which I mentioned earlier that I planned on watching. And I kind of went into it without much prior knowledge. I did see that the critics rated it pretty well. Um, on IMDb, it is only 6.7, which I usually would consider borderline in terms of what I would be willing to watch. But since the critics rated it pretty well, I decided to give it a chance. And well, I, I liked it. Um, I feel like it has a lot of similarities, maybe, to Walter Mitty. Um, it stars Ben Stiller, who, you know, he has been doing a lot of more independent, low-key movies for the past few years, and I, I like that he's doing that. He is very talented. Um, I loved him in Dodgeball, so it's great to see him still doing some quality work. And this movie just really makes you think about life. I like movies like that because they are really realistic and it shows, you know, kind of like the average person's problems, maybe their struggle with self-esteem. Sometimes, I guess, when I watch movies like this, it kind of makes me think about whether I'm actually content with my life or not. I do think when I watch movies or TV shows, I do tend to have that thought in my mind where I'm feeling like my life is 
boring and uninteresting and maybe there's moments where I wished that I did more like had more eventful evenings where I'm not just sitting on my couch watching a movie or sitting at my computer playing a video game and I think those thoughts mainly come because the way that stuff can be portrayed in movies and TV shows it's not entirely realistic because they kind of make everything seem so exciting and so cool but the thing with that is not everyone is the same so I genuinely think that if I was in that environment that they portray like maybe at a club or some dinner party why does Sammy have to do that right now I think that I would have to be really selective on stuff like that because I've done a few things where I would be outgoing and I feel like I've learned over the years that I know when I will enjoy something or when I won't. So in terms of all of that, it would be cool to attend those events, but I do think that my tolerance for being out and about and not at home um, can be short-lived at times in terms of when I get tired or when I just feel like being at home and relaxing. So I do have my limits. Um, I also just think that the perception of the fun that people have when they're going out and doing stuff is exactly that. It's just the way it is perceived, but not necessarily what would be real for someone like me. Um, I think maybe just over the years, naturally, I have become, you know, quite the hermit. And for some people, they think that is a very boring and uninteresting and meaningless life. Sometimes I do describe myself that way, but when I describe myself that way, I don't say it in a way that I feel like I pity myself or any of that. Like, I don't say any of that wishing things were different because I am comfortable with the lifestyle I have. You know, being a single person in my latter half of my 20s, if you can call it that, being 26, I make all my own choices. I do anything I want, whenever I want. I pretty much do all the activities I enjoy. I just don't have anybody else I usually need to coordinate with, so it makes decisions generally pretty easy. And I guess I have generally had these hobbies since I was a teenager, so I did used to be very extroverted, but I think over the years with the bad interactions with people and all of that, I just know when a social outing is not my type, so I am usually extremely selective on when I would choose to do something like that. When I have her on place and when she eventually just starts sleeping, so in that pose what she's doing right now except her eyes would be closed and she would just look so peaceful and every time that happens, I just usually feel this wave of like love. It's a weird word to describe it. I don't know how to describe the feeling, but I just feel like this overwhelming sensation that I look at her and then I just feel so much love because I think that once you have an animal or a baby to take care of and then when there's moments where it's quiet and peaceful and they're sleeping and you just watch them it just feels like you're just so happy that their presence is there and that you just feel different that you are in charge of their well-being and oftentimes in the evenings when she's sleeping and just looking super peaceful I just love to watch her and I just always have that feeling Okay, so I am going to try out 
my mask. But before I put it on, I need to cleanse and then tone. So my process is going to be this one, then this one, then my toner for now. Once I use this up, I will switch to using the Sun and Park that I bought last time. So let's cleanse my face first. Okay, I am done cleansing. After I'm done cleansing my face, you just feel so refreshed. So now I'm going to spray on some toner. Alrighty, mask time. So this one is interesting. It's like a two, it's a two piece one instead. Wow, it's so slippery. Well, I have to say, I like the fit of this one much better. Time to put on my Batman mask. Look at how much excess there is. And this thing dangling in front of my nose, I'm going to fold it up so I can breathe. <laughs> but aside from that, I like the feel of this one because it really sticks to your face really well and it attaches on really smoothly, it feels like. I am going to fold this piece up. Normally it falls down. Wow, I look like a scarecrow or something. But yeah, I'll fold this up. Leave it up. Leave this on for 30 minutes. I am probably going to see Star Wars tomorrow. Um, Shane wants somebody to go with, and I kind of passed him on The Lost City of Z. I think that was the name of it with, fuck, what's his name? Oh my god, I hate it when I forget their names, and I know his face. I know his face. He was from Sons, Ar Sons of Anarchy, and he was in Pacific Rim. Charlie Hunan. There we go. So yeah, so I skipped Lost City of Z. He wanted to see that in theaters. Then he wanted to see Justice League in theaters, and I was like, I can't, I can't be doing those movies, but I guess Star Wars, I mean, like, if he wants somebody to go to see Star Wars, then I will be that body. But I, um, I find it very hard to not have extreme prejudice towards this movie, but I, I really feel like it's, justified for me personally. So I know I've been watching movies since 2011, hardcore. So I know by now like what I expect to like. So for example, I'm going to see Call Me By Your Name on Thursday. That movie, I watched the trailer for it before Shape of Water and I had tears in my eyes from watching that trailer. So that movie, I feel like I know 100% I will love that movie. Love. Maybe not guaranteed, but I know I would like it quite a bit. Um, but for Star Wars, I think by now I just know that it's going to fall short for me. I really loved the old ones, four, five, and six, and I didn't like the prequels. So to be honest, when I first saw the last Star Wars that came out, I don't know, a couple years ago, I did feel like I really liked it when I first saw it, but when I watched it over, and then when I thought about it more and more, I just realized that I didn't really like it. So I'm not a big fan of the new characters for this new ongoing Star Wars, so I don't know if I will find myself being really attached. 
I think from the originals, I really, really enjoyed the dynamic between Luke, Leia, and Han Solo. I thought Han Solo was one of the most entertaining characters in the series, and I liked when I thought that the I thought that him and Leia bickering kind of made their romance less sappy but more comical and something that you kind of warm up to because they bickered and then they kind of realized like oh like we kind of like each other and um, they looked like they fit well together so I like that but this new one we just kind of have Finn like randomly flirting with her and it mm, I, I can't really I don't really feel so great about it it doesn't really uh, appeal to me but I'll watch it <laughs> if I didn't watch it with him I probably wouldn't watch it at all so maybe it'll be interesting to see what happens I know that there's going to be more cameos I believe so maybe it'll be fun to spot those out Sammy Sammy. Oh, hi. Milo, your turn. Milo. Milo, your turn. Yeah, I didn't think you'd do it. <laughs> Samuel. Oh.